Good morning, folks. So last week's vlog was a little bit different. It was all about being spontaneous, going with the flow, and just kind of getting outside of your comfort zone. And for an introverted homebody like myself, um, obviously it's good to get out of your comfort zone, change things up once in a while. But I think one of my favorite things of doing that is just you appreciate your home just that much more once you come back from vacation. And I am just so eager and excited to kind of get back into my regular mundane life and just kind of, you know, do things that I like. Isn't that right, Jasper? Mm-hmm. You know, as you can see, Jasper is very excited. You know, and this is the thing about like delicious iced drinks is that I can just fucking finish it so quick. But yeah, first things first, I'm gonna go and tame the mullet a little bit. I think the plan is instead of kind of just chopping off the mullet whenever I get bored of it, I'm just gonna gradually just get it shorter and shorter until it's not a mullet anymore. But I also have this like itch to bleach the mullet. Cause in my head, I'm just like, we're here already. Like might as well just full send and just have a bleached platinum mullet. Like why not? You know? Yeah, I don't know folks. Let me know what you think. All right, quick fit check before we head out. We got the less shitty shirt. We got the less shitty sample, gently flared wide leg trousers. Look at this. Cannot wait until these come out. Look at that funky flare. So funky, so fun. Dad shoes, tote bag. Also got some sunnies. It's a really complete the look. The deal pods. Boom, wow, wow, wow. I mean, the fact that I can just say that this set is less shitty, like it's my brand. Fucking crazy. Crazy, anyways. <laughs> so good right now like I feel like a new man first the mullets all tidied up I don't even know if I can call it a mullet anymore I mean the side is shaved it's just it's down so it doesn't really look too mullety it's still a mullet I'm still gonna call it a mullet I got a good sweat on which is always nice and just kind of moving my body again especially after just like sitting for a while on the plane on the train and just look how cute this little angel boy tattoo is i just love this like janky like sketchbook type tattoo some people call it like ignorant style some people call it folk i also have these like two boxers from the same artist um and i just like it because it's just not too serious i feel like some of my tattoos especially on my upper arm are like quite serious i'm like just I'm just not that guy. So yeah, I'm really excited for this one. I think it fills the space really well. Um, and it's just so cute. I'm also starving right now, so I'm just gonna make my go-to closet. Get some oil, some eggs, and then cover. So the rice, keeping it really simple. Some soy sauce, sesame oil, and some Korean hot pepper paste, like this much. Beauty. And there you have it, folks. Mm. Super simple, literally took less than five minutes. I feel like you guys are probably tired of seeing this in every single vlog, but you know, this is just the realities of what I eat. Like, I don't experiment with new recipes every single week. Um, I just like the foods that I like. And uh, if it's cooking and easy and it's tasty, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hyper fixate on it. Um, I missed this. I missed this. Even though I was only gone for like three days, um, this is nice. I just love spending my alone time, eating some food, going to the gym, maybe getting a cheeky tattoo, and um, just doing my thing. And I think, you know, I think the haircut really just, I don't know what it is, something about like keeping the sides 
clean. I feel like when the sides get too like puffy and spiky, it just makes me feel bleh, like not the sharpest. It just affects my overall, I guess, confidence. Um, and after like a clean cut, like it just, it feels so good. So something that I've experienced uh, recently, and I guess over the past couple of years, is just, I guess, a difference between platforms and communities built on each platform. So when I posted a video of Mike and I traveling on YouTube, it's just like, okay, Joe's doing something spontaneous with his friend, cool. But when I posted that on TikTok, immediately it was like, did you guys break up? Who's this new guy? How does Ryan feel about this? And it's just like constantly, you know, I am just Ryan's partner. And I definitely get it because I blew up on TikTok because we did kind of couple content, right? It was like the skits and the lip syncing and that's what a lot of the people, I guess, know me as is Ryan's partner, um, especially on TikTok. But yeah, it's just really interesting to see like the difference in I guess how different platforms and different communities on each platform um, kind of perceive different pieces of content. You know, the community that gets me the best is on YouTube, like you guys watching the vlogs, because a lot of you have seen me go from, you know, university, moving out of my parents, moving in with my roommate. And I think just by the nature of having longer form videos, um, I'm able to just connect a little bit better and just maybe explain different concepts a little bit more in depth. And yeah, just appreciate you guys. I wish I had some kimchi, but, We've been out for a while. Actually, maybe maybe I should do that tomorrow. Hi, Jasper. Come up. Oh. I don't know if you can tell, but you just woke up from a nap. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> All right, so now that we're back from being spontaneous, it's time to get back to work. And I'm talking about like the sit down, admin, emails, planning ideas, writing concepts, which takes up the majority of my time, I'd say. We're also working on some different things for Less Shitty. Uh, probably the one that I'm most excited for are the trousers that I've been wearing, the wide-legged, gently flared, no, the gently flared wide-legged trousers that are made from corduroy. Um, but I also think for the summertime, it'd be cool to do them in like a heavyweight linen, just so that it's a bit more like breathable, not super heavyweight, of course, but not, I don't want it to be like, transparent you know but yeah we're also working on some handmade belts um some more ceramics hopefully and um i feel like there's just so many moving parts and it's really difficult to kind of do all of this while you're traveling or trying to be spontaneous so yeah for the rest of the day i'm just gonna sit down get some work done and we'll see you tomorrow And of course, this wouldn't be a self-care vlog without the sponsor of today's video, AG1. I'm gonna take one scoop, add it to some water, and of course, our vitamin D3K2 drop. Boom, boom, and then just shake it up. Wow. AG1 is a blend of 75 different vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. It's got your dairy-free pre and probiotics to help support gut health. It's got adaptogens to help support cognitive function. It's got a superfood complex. It is truly an all-in-one comprehensive drink. And I've been personally drinking AG1 for the past almost three years now, and I literally take it everywhere with me wherever I go. You guys saw me pack it in my bags when I was in Napa Valley last week. It's just such a seamless part of my daily routine, whether first thing in the morning or after my workout. Honestly, just kind of what works for you. And I know I've been saying this every single time for the past three years but yes of course try to get the majority of your nutrients through actual whole leafy vegetables and a variety of different foods however when you live in a busy life things get a little hectic um, that's not super realistic so it's just nice to have all of your bases covered in just one scoop mix it with the water and you're good to go but the best part is that if you want to try Asian one for yourself just by using the link below you'll get five free travel packs also in your purse your suitcase your office and a year supply of the vitamin t3k2 drops just by using the link so yeah, once again a big thank you to AG1 for sponsoring this portion of the video with that being said let's get on with the day don't forget sharing is caring here you go 
Down in one. Blop, 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 blop. Jasper's food. Jasper's food in his top bowl. We've been freezing Jasper's entire meal into the top bowl as well, adding some like pumpkin puree. And uh, I think he likes it. It's definitely a bit more of a challenge. What do you think, buddy? Do you like it? Okay, go eat. <laughs> But yeah, quick shower, and then we're just gonna go out and about. That workout was pretty good. It wasn't like crazy tough. It felt like more so of like an active recovery. Definitely a lot slower pace, but a lot of the movements were a bit tricky. Like the earthquake bench press, like very difficult, but kind of fun. For breakfast today, we are heading to the one and only Lunch Lady. Not actually one and only because it's an original location, which I believe was or is a Michelin star, uh, but this is a Vancouver location. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. 